yeah, I've been looking forward to this all day. Mutant Year Zero, Road to Eden. Let's play. Mutant, Mutant Year Zero, Road to Eden, guys. Yeah, I've been looking forward to this game forever, forever. We're going to go for a new game. And we're gonna have a look at this game. My name is Vida Gavia, by the way, and we're going to play on normal because we want to experience the story to begin with here. This game, Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden, is a game that is a little bit like XCOM, a little bit like Warcraft 3, and a little bit like uh, its own very special thing. And here we go, guys. Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden. Another day, another mission, risking our necks for the Ark. You know, I asked myself, Ducks, why are you out here? And you know why. The Ark's water pump is broken again, and Hammond said he needs more scrap to fix it. Yeah, well, we'd do it a lot better if he'd sent us somewhere with actual scrap to find. Why do you have to be so annoying? Come on. We gotta head back before Prep closes for the night. We do indeed. Look at this guy, Trust guys. Me, we are. Shut the hell up. <laughs> we are mutated animals. We are Broman. He's some sort of boar type dude. And we are ducks. Wanna so this annoying? is a turn based annoying. tactical What's wrong game, with you? right? But with a story. The zone. And it takes place in Sweden, guys. shut. In the yeah, west you only told of me Sweden, near Gothenburg, near modern day Gothenburg. And it's a post apocalyptic world where radiation has made everything just a little bit wacky here. <laughs> so you see the road signs there, they're in Swedish and things like that. So we are on our way home to the Ark, guys. The story will, will be explained, I reckon, as we play along here. This part, as you can see, is not turn based. We're walking around, exploring, which is really cool. And man, they have a flashlight, they have every all sorts, you know. We can swap between, between the characters, you know, who's leading the party here. We got ourselves some scrap metal, Borman. This is worth a lot of grog back at the Ark. Scrap metal, eh? We're sent out from the Ark. The Ark is like the last outpost of civilization, the guys. stinks like mutants. Not just any mutants. Stalkers. Tight muscles. Good meat. I smell it, too. Where there's stalkers, there's Ark. Where there's Ark, there's... Killing time for Skizzix and Treble. Look out! They're close! Close, close, close! Over there! Come, brother! I'm on their trail! Yeah, we turned the flashlight off. That means we're sneaking. You can see the uh, circle here. Surrounding these guys. That's how uh, close they are to detecting us, you know, guys. And... There's one guy there, and there's one guy out in the fields over here, or in the woods. We're gonna try and go for this one first, I think. Let's see what we can do, guys. But now we're gonna experience the tactical part of this. We're gonna ambush him, yeah? Tactical combat. Turn-based. Two action points. Some actions such as shooting will end your turn. Right? So, at the moment, we can... Uh, <clears throat> We press 2 here, we can see what chance we have of shooting. We have 50% chance of hit hitting, so, you know, not very good. So if we can move a little bit closer, that would be nice, right? So we can move first, that will take some action points. So he's seen us, but I reckon we can kill him in one shot. So that's what we're going for, we have a 100% chance of hitting him. Yeah. Bye <laughs> bye. You finally figured out how to use that thing? You finally figured out how to use that thing? Yeah, the enemy heard us. Well, we know that. So let's go with our pig friend here. Borman. Over to here and see if we can... ...shoot as well. This should be a very simple battle, really. There we go. <laughs> Sleep it off. Sweet takedown. <laughs> well, there we go. Now we have to regroup. ourselves before. Right in our neighborhood. I don't like it. And we can turn the lamp back on, I think, as well. And yeah, we get to loot things, which is super cool. Now we found a Broiler 50. Uh, which basically, you can put on a weapon when we get to the Ark. And uh, sort of get uh, get better that's weapons. A, that's a... We saw one of these things once. 
filled with zone dogs, right? Oof. The ancients sure knew how to build big pieces of garbage. Yep, it's a plane, guys. <laughs> so cool. I played this when I was a kid. Did I mention that? I, I, first time I played a, a pen and paper role playing game was when I was 10 years old. Back in the day, 1984, guys. Long time ago, and it was this game. My friend uh, introduced me to it, and I was hooked. And I play, played so much role playing games since then. It's not even funny, guys. And so this is like the f this is going back for me. This is super personal for me, guys. Really, honestly, is. And uh, I love what they've done with this game. It's uh, they, they really kept the feel of it, you know. And uh, hold it, rules. I don't like the look of that big one. We have to be sneaky. Okay, here's the plan. We turn off our lights, then hug the water, go around them. Enemies with the Red Skull are too high level for your team and will kill you. Yeah. Rip off their tiny stalker arms and beat their faces till they die! Faces too ugly to beat. No one loves a stalker. Give me the stalkers. Let them come. Where are you? Ark don't even love stalkers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they really managed to keep the feel of the role-playing game, in my opinion, yeah? And that's what's great about this, uh, for me. Uh, plus, I've always loved XCOM-like games, where you have a, a turn-based combat and things like that, which is it's just awesome. And, and, of course, I can't lie to you guys, it's cool that this is a Swedish game as well. You know, I'm from Sweden, and it's, it's really nice to see that the old Swedes are yeah, doing absolutely. something right. I mean, Minecraft is also oh, a Swedish sweet game, home. of course, but, you know, oh, everybody knows that. that elevator when I see it. Get upstairs, take a bath, get a grog with the boys, get another grog with the boys, foot massage. Ah, oh, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great, eh? You think it's gonna be that easy, man? The campsite. Looks like a family lived here. Lived here and died here. Nothing like a bunch of skeletons to put your mind at ease. The first adventure I ever played in the pen and paper game was called Mission in Mosmosel. <laughs> and it was a super hard adventure. We uh, didn't know what we were doing, we didn't understand the rules, There's a nothing like that. Definitely feel a ghoul vibe coming off of it. So we run in, guns blazing? Too dangerous. If we're sneaky, we can get into a good position. A good position keeps us alive. Turn off your flashlight. If you're undetected, you can scope out the enemy positions and kill isolated weak enemies using your silent weapons. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so I reckon we need to use our duck ducks here. Ducks the duck. And of course, turn off the flashlight. Split Spread up. Out. And we'll approach with him first and put him in a good place. And then maybe uh, try and come up. Well, actually, let's hey, regroup anyway. follow me. Hungry. Hungry! I says we take the ark. Tasty mutants. <laughs> Love me some Stay mutants. Stay back. Split up. There we go. Rip their hearts. Crush their. Hey, hey. You hear that? You hear that noise? I hear my stomach. Hungry. Kill. Yeah. Hungry. Kill. Wonder if there is any buddy out here in the. Outskirts here. We're gonna have a little sneak around guys. I see uh, something treasure like here as well, you know. I'm intrigued Something This is open chest. Oh, there's a guy. Let's ambush him oh, It's awesome guys Cover this cover that flanking. Yeah, yeah, yeah We'll get into all that later on Okay, so we need to sneak up on this guy Kill him silently. Well, let's just go all the way, right? He's discovered us. So now we only have one shot. Let's kill him. Yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> nice one. And those guys didn't notice. That is awesome. When you level up, you get mutation points. We'll talk a little bit more about that later on. But we can learn to fly. We can, uh, you know. Spit fire and things like that. Well, actually, let's do it now. 
So this is the mutation screen. I'm not quite sure how this all works exactly yet, but we're gonna go and have a look at uh, that one for instance. Oh, okay, press E to continue, blah blah, yeah yeah. So this, these things are bonuses that are permanent stat increases basically. And these things are abilities that you can use during combat or otherwise. Skull splitter, knee shot, no knee, no problem. <laughs> You're able to knock the patella off an enemy, uh, an enemy's leg even, with a single shot, preventing movement for two turns. Enhanced crit critical chance, yeah, that sounds like something we would like. And he's leveling up, ducks is a little bit bigger, you know, as far as ducks go. What are we gonna give a Bromin then? Well, we're gonna give him a health boost. Because he's like our tank, right? Goes up close and fires people fires at people with his shotgun. That's that. Okay, so let's um, carry on here, guys. But now we can actually take these guys from two directions if we're a little bit sneaky here. Move him to here. And then change to Bromin and sneak up with him as well. Do we go for this rock over here, maybe? It could be a thing. If we hide behind there, and then start the ambush, guys. Start the ambush. I'm gonna st just gonna run in and shoot that guy there, I think. I'm gonna try and do that. Yeah! I dropped one of us! <laughs> so now it's up, up to our duck. Ducks. <clears throat> To try and get to here, maybe? Yeah. And shoot. <laughs> oh! <laughs> so, what's he gonna do now then? Our fellow hunter here. He's gonna try and run away, isn't he? No? Oh, he shot ducks! What a bugger. Uh, we can't have that, of course. So, the uh, thing with Dux is he can shoot silently, but he needs to reload between turns. So we need to go and finish this up somehow with Bromin. I gotta say, what I'm impressed about with this game, one of the things I'm impressed about is how easy it is to control it, right? The controls are super nice and super easy. So you can see here, we have very little chance of hitting this guy, because he's in cover, right? But we're gonna try anyway. Nope. Shot the wall. <laughs> So now he gets the chance here to... Well, let's move away. Let's move ducks away so we don't get shot again, right? Maybe heal up. Try that. Nice one. So now it's the hunter's turn again. And we shoot Roman. But I think we got him now. I have no more action points. Man, this is not good. I'm trying to sneak around. <laughs> okay, let's try this then. Sure, I reloaded. Oh no, it ends my turn when I reload. That's a bit of a problem. We need to heal our boar friend up here as well. Okay, so what if we move out here? Hmm? Then shoot him. 100%. I'm, I'll take that. I like Enough. those offs. Oh man, that was my shot. Well, you had, we had some problems there actually. <clears throat> I went we leveled up again, guys. Wow, we're leveling up like there's no tomorrow. Hand grenade. Yes, sir. Broken gun. All sorts of things you can loot around here. And let's not forget the guy we killed out in the um, in the field as well. Back, uh, out back. Boombox. Strange talking Look box. Look at this beauty. The ancients left a lot of ugly junk behind, but once in a while you see something like, wonder what these buttons are for. I wouldn't touch it if I were you. I'm not kidding around. Lay off the buttons. 
And we found a chest. Gaper! A gas-powered cannon, humorously named after the type of damage S has, has been known to deliver. Yes, we'll take that. What's up your butt? That's a bomb, all right. They used to call it a boom bomb. Don't be pretending you know what any of this crap is. We'll bring it back to the Ark and show it to Prip. Ask him what it's worth on the black market. Where did we kill that first guy? Oh yeah, here it was. Yeah. So there was some scrap there as well, and now we can go inside and have a look as well. Rare scrap. Yeah, I like the sound of that, guys. I like the sound of that. I think this is like the tutorial level, guys. So it's going to be a little bit railroaded, but if I understand it correctly, it opens up later on in the game and uh, it becomes more freeform. We can explore this map that we were looking at before, you know, and it's so cool for me because things are in Swedish here, right? Ah, oh, man, you know, Skrik Dalen, the Valley of Christ, yeah? Things like that. It's, it's, ah, oh, I just love it. I love it. And I hope you guys, even if you're not, um, even if you're not Swedish, I hope you really enjoy this game if you try it out because, man, the atmosphere, the, uh, the quirkiness with the mutated animals and the really solid gameplay, I'm super impressed. And it's so much fun to play this. I'm really uh, thankful that I can. And that I can share it with you guys. When the ice melted, you said nothing. When the plague spread, you did nothing. When the nukes dropped, you became nothing. Uh oh. At least that's what the Elder says. But cheer up. You'll be happy to know that despite your mistakes, life remains. <clears throat> In a small settlement high above a raging river, people are living and thriving. That's the Ark. call it the Ark. Yeah. That's our home, guys. <laughs> the Ark is humanity's last outpost. A lonely island in an ocean of chaos. Within these walls, we help each other create a new civilization on the ruins of the old one, with the guidance of our leader, the Elder. The Elder tells us we're safe as long as we never leave, because outside these walls lies the zone, the never-ending wasteland. A mass grave spanning the planet, Littered with your crumbling monuments to your hubris and arrogance. What the Elder chooses not to tell us is our food and water supplies are running dangerously low. That's why he relies on stalkers. Adventurers who leave the Ark, explore the zone and scavenge for precious resources. Stalkers are tough enough to resist the rot and they got the smarts and the firepower to keep the zone ghouls at bay. Stalkers have to be more than human. That's me, Mr. More Than Human, a.k.a. a mutant. I look weird to you, but hey, you look weird to me. So let's leave it at that. If the Stalkers come back from the zone alive, the Ark survives another day. If the Stalkers don't come back, the legacy of mankind will be lost forever. At least... That's what the Elder says. Mutant Year Zero! Road to Eden, guys. Man! <laughs> Let's play some more, guys. Let's play some more. And as you can see here, guys, Göteborg, Angered, Gothenburg. <laughs> In Swedish. <laughs> With a Swedish sign. But guys, you know what? We need to play some more of this, and we need to do it real soon. But for now, this is the first episode, guys, of Mutant Year Zero, Bro to Eden. I am enjoying it. Leave a like if you like the video, and we'll be back with more of this real soon, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Viragavia, and I'll see you next time. Bye!